This is the University of Rochester. And this is Engineers Without Borders. We are Engineers Without Borders! And Engineers Without Borders, our goal is simple, to help those in need. As part of Engineers Without Borders USA, our mission is to work with global communities to solve engineering problems with sustainable solutions. Engineers Without Borders at the University of Rochester plans to help students in Don Juan Primary School located in the Dominican Republic. Currently, Don Juan is unable to supply its students with something simple, clean water. The school has a dependence on a faculty municipal electricity system and therefore it has no access to water during daily scheduled and unscheduled power outages. Hi, my name is Christian Freitas and I'm the president of the University of Rochester chapter of Engineers Without Borders. Here at the U of R chapter, we have disciplines of all kinds. Hi, my name is Garrett, I'm an astronomy major. My name is Ivan and I'm studying violent performance. Hi, I'm Vivian and I'm a business major. And my name's Ian and I'm a film and psychology major. There are specific stages to an EWB project. We've already completed phase one of our current project. Over the past year, we've worked with the Don Juan community to submit project proposal forms and we've submitted our own project application. Now, we've been selected by the EWB National Committee to proceed with our project plans and start helping the children of Don Juan. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hi, I'm Grace, and we're the project co-coordinators. Our vision of program success is to ensure that all members of the school community are able to enjoy an improved quality of life through access to use of and maintenance of water system technologies. But in order for this to happen, we have to make sure that the community is involved from day one in every step of all the assessment and implementation processes. The next part of that process is to go on our first assessment trip. Although we have obtained a lot of information about the specific need of the community, we still need to fly there to do some assessments on the parameter, do some soil and water analysis, and meet the community itself. Soon we will be taking our first assessment trip to better understand the current situation and start building a relationship with the community. With this information, we will be able to solidify designs and building methods. However, we can't proceed unless we reach our goal of $7,000 the cost to fund our members to go to the Dominican Republic. From the initial blueprint to the boots on the groundwork, Engineers Without Borders members have impacted more than 2.5 million lives. And with your contributions, we can help even more.